It is definitely fall. I uh, wanted to give you guys an update on the beehive we inherited with some land uh, that, that we purchased by our house here about a year ago. Uh, actually, there were two beehives when we, we bought the land, but one hive was dead and the other one seemed okay. We were actually able to get some honey out of that hive earlier this year. We're new to bees. We looked up the very basics, made sure we, uh, when we harvested, we didn't disturb the queen or the main part of the hive. Since it's fall, we've been checking on it and wanted to show you guys an update. Cheese. Let me see, let me see. Okay, in a minute, we're gonna check on the bees. Looks like they're eating. See any beetles though? Maybe there's just not a queen anymore. Maybe their queen died. I mean, there's no bees even. But there's not a thousand bees left in this hive.
don't see what they're doing in this. I think they're just trying to survive. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch coming out here. I actually do see one that's different colored. She just went underneath. Extremely gentle. Let's start Here. stacking back up. Okay. This. Last time when we were here, there was. Yeah, there were at least a few. One flying out here. Something. There's a honeybee out here flying. Mm, There's a couple. There, there might be a few in there. <clears throat> now, that box is the one that we pulled honey out of this year. That one right there. I don't know how many, but I don't see any in that box either. Well, if there's any in there, it doesn't look like many. Yeah, even, I mean, two weeks ago we were seeing activity, but the bulk of them were down here. Yeah, I don't think there's any in there. Okay, now we're down to the business. If there's any here, this is where they'll be. This pollen? Uh, propolis, probably. Yeah. It's that glue okay. stuff they use, like here on the edges to glue everything. They're chewing on that wax. Mm -hmm. That's the robber bees coming and oh, robbing yeah. the wax. Mm -hmm. How do you get rid of robber bees? I don't think there's any bees in here. That's crazy. When it two weeks ago, remember? There was a oh. whole mess of them here. Well, there's a bunch of dead ones in the bottom. We had to back away. Yeah, oh see, my gosh. See where they've chewed oh. all on this wax. It's It's got uh, pollen and and <clears throat> stuff in it but what it is it's robber bees see this right here this is where they tried to raise a queen mm -hmm. okay. and uh, so something evidently happened to their queen and so I wonder why they put the short frames on the bottom like that uh, no do we we probably have though a whole bunch of Mm -hmm. With the other one we took over the house and cleaned up, we could patch them you together. you have a deep freeze? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a dead bee right there. If you've got a deep freeze, the best thing to do, if it's big enough, put these boxes in your deep freeze for 48 hours, and it'll kill any, like, uh, bugs or anything that's in there that can hatch out malls or anything like that started a wax moth see that mm. so should that frame just not be used again uh, probably not okay they've tried to save their self by raising another queen but i guess they weren't successful i don't know what happened 
But these bees that are flying around are robber bees. Okay. Yeah, see, when we were over here two weeks ago, they were... There weren't any dead ones like that. Uh -uh. That's, that didn't probably, like that. that's probably the uh, last... Guys, see, here's another one that's got the... It's hard to see without the light. I can't get it this right, but... The grayish... You can see the... Well, you can see it looks like... Uh, right there mm -hmm. kind of looks like a spider web yeah. uh -huh. that's wax moth okay. you don't want to <clears throat> if you put it in the freezer it'll get rid of them so then you could reuse it if we got it clean yeah up. you okay. can put them in the freezer and that'll get rid of anything that's alive in there would we want to clean the frames and have a clean frame to start with if it was me i would use these frames because they're already stretched and pulled and the bees can go right to work as soon as okay. you put them in there. You just don't want any beetles or wax moths in there. See, if you put these short frames in there, what they do, yeah. they yeah. will fill that down yeah. all the way to the bottom of the box and then you got a mess. That makes sense because I wondered why that, that dark comb was like that when we were over here. Wow. That makes me so sad. What it is, those that are dead down in there are the bees that were left mm -hmm. in the hive and the robber bees coming in there and they all fought till they killed each other. Yeah. Cause they were trying to defend their hive. And, mm -hmm. and that day we were over here, these two frames closest to this edge were had a, all these bees that are dead. There's a little bit of wax moth. Because I think that's the day this. you backed up because they were getting kind of mad oh there's some bees still in here those are robber bees though you yeah, think robber bees. Hmm. Well, well time to start out no that's so sad we should take this with yeah us. i just take it all I back we with should you. Move it anyways because this is hard to get to yeah um, do you mind looking around our property and tell us where no. you think a good place to put them would be? So unfortunately guys, as you saw, the, uh, the bees didn't make it. Um, according to our, our local bee guy, Alan, he believes it was, you know, the queen either just died or she moved on. She moved the, the majority of the colony somewhere else. Either case, it, it was the end of the hive. We enjoyed working with the bees, so we're going to give it another go next spring. Hopefully, we can use the same box. Um, going to give it a go. We'll probably actually do both the hives that we have. We'll get them all cleaned up and put new, um, new stuff in where we need it. And hopefully, in April, we can... Can get some bees and get the colonies going and we'll we'll do it here closer to our home make it easier to keep an eye on them have a good one guys